Most people that are from this area, from Mawa, have known this place because it's one of the last farms like this in the county. People will take drives up here just to drive past, but nobody really ever knew what it was. It was just so the big old red barn with all the horses out front. I came here as a 14-year-old girl with my first real horse. I spend every day with my dog, and I would bring a backpack with my lunch in it and a radio, and we would go out on the trails for, you know, six, seven hours a day. That's how I found Maripo Farm. Growing up here with my horse, it was the best years of my life. I stepped away for a couple of years. When I came back here, I found two horses named Bailey and Patches, and the owners had walked away from them. I ended up taking over all the financial expenses for Bailey and Patches. That is where the original dream of the rescue started. I did go off into a little bit of a, a darker place in my life. What brought me back was my passion for horses. Bailey saved me from myself. When Bailey came into my life, it put something at ease for me. I truly gave my, my everything to him and he gave his everything to me. He understood me, he felt my pain. I felt his pain. He helped heal me and I helped heal him. And in turn, I've been able to help other horses heal. I had been to other places. I had gone to fancy places and equestrian centers, and there's something very unique about this place, something that makes me feel grounded and something that gives me that feeling of I belong here. You can't buy something like that. It is a feeling, it is a connection. I wouldn't be who I am without this place. It never gets old and it never gets tiresome. It still gives me that feeling of this is exactly where I'm supposed to be and what I'm meant to do.